EU, you have some huge centres who are talking about breakup of uh, digital uh, firms. And you also have that, of course, in the US, the example of Elizabeth Warren, who has made that part of her political debate. Beyond these uh, uh, political issues, there is a real question. Levels of concentration in the digital world are indeed uh, high. And if you look at some of the statistics, Facebook, for example, has about 80% in the EU and uh, Google has about 90% share. And Google even has uh, about 80% worldwide in the search market. And when you take into account the fact that it's very difficult for um, Google to enter into China, you um, realize how high these market shares really are. And then the question becomes, are these high levels of concentration, are they good for us or bad for us? So, of course, they bring about many kinds of benefits to uh, consumers because of scale economies, because of network externalities, because of a high level of innovation, because of data synergies, new products, new processes. Uh, search, for example, is much, much better than it uh, ever used to be partly because of the vast amounts of data which are used in order to search. However, at the same time, this level, this high level of concentration is creating many problems or it's creating a host of uh, different harms, price differentiation, um, high prices. They might allow uh, um, indirectly the um, spread of uh, fake news uh, much uh, more easily. Uh, we're talking about inequality, we're talking about effects on labor markets. And then the question is, should we do something and how should we do it? So there are many different suggestions that different people are raising today. And so some of them are structural. For example, the breakup that I just uh, suggested, but think about breakup. It, it's really um, uh, not an easy solution to apply and it's not necessarily one that we want to apply because if uh, indeed these digital markets are based on scale and scope economies and network externalities, then breaking them up would lose some of the benefits that they bring about to consumers and markets. This is the kind of consideration that we're taking into account with regard to stru uh, structural remedies. Other structural remedies might be, for example, what India did with uh, regard to Amazon, not allowing Amazon to sell uh, Amazon uh, products on its uh, uh, platform in order to ensure that it is impartial with regard to all other sellers. Now, is this good or not? Again, we can debate because on the one hand, of course, you increase impartiality. On the other hand, you reduce the number of offers that consumers have in the market. Now, there are also behavioral remedies that put on the table. And I think the most important uh, one there is data sharing. Certain kinds of data uh, can be shared and so that smaller firms, medium firms who did not have access to past data or where entry barriers to certain types of data are significantly high and are needed for the competitive process could then uh, get the data in other ways. Again, this is a very serious suggestion, I think it's a good one, but you have to make sure the devil is in the details. Because, for example, if a firm has invested much in collecting data, then sharing it or mandating it to share uh, the data with others uh, reduces incentives to innovate. And of course, you have privacy issues because now you have more firms that have access to uh, data which might infringe uh, privacy either directly or indirectly. So the bottom line here is that the challenge is very serious and we um, are now at uh, informative times where we have to think carefully about what are the right tools to apply with regard to digital markets. It's exciting but it's also um, very challenging.